YouTube, I'm Asaf Reedy from DigiTube and I'm back with another video. So in this video, we are going to test the MacBook Pro 2017 base model. So the 2018 is out and some people might want to buy the 2017 model. So I want to test how it edits 4K videos. So I have them on the timeline and they are recorded using iPhone 7 Plus and the charge is 67%. So let's start editing. I have one thing in my mind. I feel like the Final Cut Pro likes some codecs of videos and some not. And I feel like that it does not like the codec of iPhone. So because I edited some other videos of 4K of other devices and they were great. But the iPhone videos on Final Cut runs not great. They are not that good, but they are average. Okay, so the playback is great and now I stabilized one of the video and it took really less time. On other computers, it takes so much time. But now, you know, when we have this MacBook here, it's really speedy. So 4K video editing is completely fine with this. So now we're gonna make it more concentrated. I'm going to add a LUT, which means I'm gonna color grade this. So I have a hard time finding some good LUTs for this footage and my advice is not to add one LUT to the whole video because there are ups and downs and I mean that some places you have high shadows, some places we have high mid-tones so you have to completely tweak that according to the situation but yeah for this video we're just gonna go like this okay so now I have a good LUT here and that's you know average so we can now go and add some speed ramping and if you do not know what is speed ramping then I'm not gonna tell you because this is not a topic about that okay so yeah so things get different right here now if we play back the video it's not same as before because now you see lag and that's because 4K frames changing so quickly is a nightmare for the MacBook. Only this one, you know, because the processor and, you know, these things are really busy using 4K video editing. And if we do the speed ramping, uh, so that's, you know, really bad for it to process. So now I want to add motion blur and that is you know not a nightmare but it is like death you know motion blur in final cut cannot be rendered at first time you have to select it and click render selection because it cannot preview it it is just a whole lag so now things are getting concentrated and the playback shows a little frame drops and we know why yeah we are working on this you should remember this video is like 20 seconds so we are editing 20 seconds of 4k video and i know that people are not going to buy macbook for editing 20 seconds 4k video but no problem i edited really long videos using this but my advice is not to place your laptop in a place where its fans are blocked because you can cook an egg on it. No, I'm just joking because the MacBook does not get too hot, you know, but it gets a little bit hot. And now we have 50 charge, so we lost 70 charge in 20 minutes because we started 635 and now it's 654. So that's not bad. And now we can render this. And I'm gonna tell you that it took like four minutes and it's a 20 second video, but I'm telling you, it depends on different video codecs. So yeah, maybe it's different for you. like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this peace out